We proposed to invest to help provinces and territories put restrictions on handguns within their jurisdictions. However, in our discussions with law enforcement, advocates and experts, it became apparent that we needed a different solution. Good. Uh, knowing that most gun crimes are committed using illegal guns, what will restricting the rights of law-abiding citizens help with gun crimes? Oh, you won't be able to answer a single question again, sir? Can you answer the question I asked yesterday? I'm walking next to him. All right, have a good day, sir. I'm asking a simple... You, yeah, I know, I, don't, I know you have the rights. Exactly. It's just do it in like kind of a annoying fa fashion. William Day for Rebel News. Are we sellouts challenge politicians in today's Canada? Well, take a look at this clip that shows what happened to me when I went to speak with Jack Singh, Omar Algebra, and Greg Fergus in front of Parliament. This whole situation happened while I was challenging Liberal MPs about Bill C-21, a bill that would implement a strict national freeze on all sales and importation of handguns in Canada, which, by the way, if you want to help protest, you can always head on to handsoffourguns.com and sign our petition there. Omar Algebra, how are you doing, sir? Seeing you again? Are you going to be able to answer one question from me this doing? time? Good. Uh, knowing that most gun crimes are committed using illegal guns, what will restricting the rights of law-abiding citizens help with gun crimes? Oh, you won't be able to answer a single question again, sir? Wow. Have a nice day. So nowadays, when you ask questions that liberals find hard to answer, well, they call Parliament security on you, yes. Well, that's exactly what happened. I was asking Omar Algebra, how will Bill C-21 help with gun crimes if most, most gun crimes were committed using illegal guns and Bill C-21 only addresses legal guns? And he wouldn't answer anything. But what, what was handed to me? A Parliament security guard that told me I was blocking his way. He was lying. You saw it on tape. I was always either to his left or behind him. I was never once in front of him blocking his way. Then they called another security guard to tell me that I was blocking Parliament, that I was blocking West Block, when again, I never did that. I never went straight in front of the door. Guys, you're blocking the way. That's it. I'm not blocking them, so they're walking right next to me. They're walking right next to me. So if I, as a citizen of Canada, I walk on Parliament Hill, you're gonna ask me to leave. This is a public place. This is a public place. I'm, I'm never blocked. Ask them, did I ever block the door? You didn't block the door. You I have it on MP. tape. I have it on tape. Do you want to see the tape? I never blocked them. Well, exactly. I never blocked them. I never blocked them. If the MP doesn't want to answer, yeah, that's totally fine. He doesn't have to answer, but I'm, I can still ask the questions. Yeah, outside the help, please. But I can, I'm a Canadian citizen. I have the right to walk on Parliament Hill. If he doesn't want to answer, don't that's follow That's totally him. fine. Well, I can walk on Parliament. I followed him for 10 seconds. Just be careful, okay? We don't want to block anybody. Just don't... I, I didn't the block them. He was able to bit. walk. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Just Come make on. sure you're okay with the... Ask a question. Don't block them and... Well, I don't think they. I don't think they were blocked. I'm, I'm so. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Thanks. Everyone always had the space to walk in front of me. Greg Fergus, you see the video in the video. After he fake phone calls someone, he points to me, for the security guard to see that I'm there and that I'm annoying him. How are you going again today? Oh, and just now you went. I can see it's not even calling. It's not even calling, sir. Oh my God. So now liberals go on their phones. To don't. It's not answer questions. That's your new strategy. Can you answer the question I asked yesterday? I'm walking next to him. All right, have a good day, sir. It's like, I'm could, asking you a could, simple. You, yeah, I'm no, I don't. I know you have the right. Exactly. But it's just do it in like kind of a uh, annoying fa fashion. Way. They never answer me. Yeah, I know. I, at first, you, I, at first good? yesterday, I always arrived with my hand like this. I always said, "Hi, my yeah, name is William Diaz. I'm gonna arrive like this," yeah. and no one's ever said anything. I, I'm back. just saying. You're kind of imposing yourself on, uh, on them, you know, and it's like, not so nice. But I still have the right to do it. It's not a mean yeah, I'm question. Not saying, I'm not saying you don't have the right, I'm just saying. Well, I don't think are, they're asking they're questions. Nice, there are just nicer ways and it's kind of, you're imposing yourself. Okay, well, what would be a nicer way? Well, you couldn't be... 
saw all of those three security guards happening. They all said complete lies. They said that I was in front of him, that I was blocking his way, or that I was blocking West Block, which was an absolute lie. Which shows that when liberal politicians don't want to answer questions nowadays, well, they call their security guards buddies for Parliament Hill. That's what happens. I thought we had freedom of press in our country. Well, Paul, probably it's just written in Charter of Rights. I mean, it's just written there. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. I actually can't believe that this happened. Rest assured in September, when they will be back from the long summer break, I will continue to go in front of Parliament and I will continue to challenge them and ask tough questions about bills that will most probably affect the vast majority of the Canadian populations. Even if, even if they don't want to answer your questions, rest assured I will still continue to ask them. Thank you for watching this. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. This was William Diaz for Rebel News. Since it is summer, members of Parliament are going back to their constituencies for the summer break. But rest assured, when, when they will be back here in Ottawa, Canada in September, I will still be there and I will continue to ask the questions that you all want to know answers to. If you want to help me to that, if you want to encourage me, if you want to encourage Rebel News, please go to rebelnews.com and donate. It is greatly appreciated.